Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my channel. So today I'm going to teach you how to connect your ESP microcontroller to your Android phone in serial communication via USB. And there you can find various implementations for something like that. But for now we're just going to deal with subject of how to connect these two devices and to make them to communicate with one another. And for this you can use uh, both ESP8266 and ESP32 microcontroller. And the first part of this tutorial is going to be how to uh, make sketch for your microcontroller. So first thing I'm going to create string, call it value, and I'm going to give it some initial value of 101. In here, I'm going to initialize my serial communication with bound rate of uh, 15. 200 and in my void loop first thing that I'm going to do I'm going to print my value then I'm going to check serial available greater than zero then I'm going to change my value and delay of one second. So basically what is going to happen uh, when we initialize this communication, we are going to be able to read value 101 from our microcontroller. But then when we send some textual value from our phone to our microcontroller, next time when we read from microcontroller, we are going to read this very same new value. And now I'm just going to upload this piece of code to my ESP8266 microcontroller. All right, let me open my serial monitor and let's see what we have. I'm going to clear output. I'm going to restart my microcontroller. Oh yes baud rate it's this one all right so everything works perfectly I'm going to close this i'm going to close this too i'm going to remove my microcontroller okay and now we are going to uh, deal with foam part but first let me show you this we are going to need this uh, github repository in order to complete this project so in here you can uh, find uh, literally uh, everything that you are going to need uh, for this communication. Uh, but what I'm actually interested in, it's this part, how to connect it with Maven. So uh, now I'm going to open my Android Studio. And first I'm going to open Android uh, Manifest. Uh, we need to add one permission in here. It's user feature Android name USB host all right we don't need manifest anymore uh, and let's see about Gradle in repositories we need to add one line so maven open squirrely brackets URL, quotation marks, HTTPS, column, double forward slash, JIT, pack dot IO. And now we have to find implementations in here. I'm going to add one more implementation com github mic tree y dot no it's actually column usb serial for android column three dot seven dot zero and now i'm going to sync these changes so i guess that everything is all right we don't need this gradle 
files anymore. So let me show you my design. So by the way, I presume that you already have experience in uh, making of Android applications. So I'm not going to go in details about this design. Uh, first, uh, we have uh, one uh, text view where we are going to uh, post uh, our uh, messages from microcontroller. And we are going to do that when we click on button test. On another side, uh, we have edit text where we are going to put a uh, text that we are going to send to our microcontroller and we click on button send. And now everything else is going to be uh, done in uh, main activity. So first I'm going to uh, declare these uh, design variables. So I have private text view, call it text view, then private button, call it button let's see import class then we have a private edit text call it send text and we have private button send button all right, now we are going to make instances of uh, these four variables. So button is going to be find you by ID, R ID button. All right, then we have text view, find you by ID, R ID text view. Then another button, this time send button, R I D, just send. And we have one more thing that is this edit text, send text, R I D, send text. All right. So now, first thing that we have to do is to uh, create USB manager. USB manager, call it manager, get application context, get system service from context USB service and we have to cast this to usb manager okay now we are going to create map of uh, two values first is going to be string second is going to be usb device call it devices and i'm just going to import class for map and I'm going to call manager get device list. Now I'm going to create one USB device, call it device. And now we are going to iterate uh, through this map, but uh, this is not problematic part because we have only one element because usually Android device has only one USB. So I'm going to uh, use for loop map entry first element it's string second element it's usb device i'm going to call it entry and we are going to iterate uh, through devices entry set okay and I'm just going to set my device to entry get value. All right, this part is done. Now I'm going to create one pending intent, call it PI, pending intent, get broadcast, get application context request code is going to be zero and now 
I'm going to put this in another line, new intent of USB service and no, it's capital letter pending intent flag immutable and of course manager request permission for device with pending intent okay what's wrong ah yes device it's not initialized it needs some uh, initial value that is housekeeping stuff so uh, what is this part actually in order to proceed with this process we actually need permission from our phone in order to do that so in this first line I'm getting a manager for a USB in second line we are getting uh, all of connected devices and basically we have only one device so with this uh, piece of code uh, we are going to get this uh, device from the list and with pending intent we are going to uh, ask for permission to deal with our usb device and you could actually put this piece of code uh, in on start method so it doesn't matter but what is important it's uh, that uh, you need uh, to connect your usb device before your application starts and of course that is not obligation in every case i'm just going to do it like that for the simplicity sake and now we are going to uh, proceed with uh, button event so I'm going to create button set on click listener new view on click listener so basically when we click on this button we are going to uh, read incoming communication from our microcontroller and make some space we are going to need it and first thing that we are going to do now we are going to create USB device connection call it connection in uh, next line I am going to create a list of uh, USB serial drivers and I have to import class for list let's name this variable available drivers we are going to use class USB serial prober get default prober find all drivers and we have to provide our manager in here now USB serial driver call it driver is going to be from our list of uh, available drivers first element because we have only one USB device and now connection from manager open device and provide driver get device and finally USB serial port call it port from driver get ports and get zero first element all right now we have uh, everything uh, that we need so let's use it so first i'm going to use my port in order to open it by using connection and now we need to put everything in uh, try catch loop okay make some space in here remove unnecessary space then we have to set some parameters for our port so uh, port set parameters uh, first is first is going to be baud rate 115 200s next is going to be uh, data bits but this is comma not dot okay eight bits stop uh, bit is going to be usb serial port and from here we are going to use stop bits one and next parity usb serial port parity none all right 
this looks cool and now before we actually read something uh, from our connection we need uh, to create byte array call it data new byte just 100 elements that's totally fine and now port read i'm going to provide uh, my byte array and timeout let's say two seconds it's more than enough now i'm going to use my text view to set text and it's going to be new string i'm going to make it from and encoded with utf8 finally i'm just going to close this port and i'm going to close this connection okay this part is done i'm going to copy this entire function in here but now we are going to deal with uh, send button this first uh, housekeeping part it's uh, totally okay port open connection it's okay setting parameters it's okay we don't need this byte array we are going to uh, write to our port and we are going to write send text get text to string get bytes timeout of uh, two seconds it's totally fine and we are going to use this send text again to set text to nothing okay port close connection close this is totally fine let me check this app again so i believe that everything is in place all right now i'm just going to connect uh, my phone and to install this application all right now i'm going to run this all right it's installed and my application crashed as expected so guys in next part of this tutorial we are going to test this application all right guys here you can see my uh, esp8266 microcontroller all, already connected uh, with uh, usb cable in here you can see bridge uh, to usb type c in order to put this in my phone and in here i have my motorola g41 with our application already installed and now i'm going to hook this up and i'm going to start my application we have to provide uh, permission first and now when i uh, click on test first we are going to receive some junk eventually we are going to see 101 come on yeah it's 101 and now i'm going to put some test in here like hi little esp and i'm going to put some emoji in here okay i'm going to send this to my microcontroller and let's see what we can read from it hi little esp all right so guys in this episode i showed you how to connect these two devices to talk with one another but before you get your final product uh, there is a lot of things to be done like handling situation uh, what is going to happen when your device is connected or, or disconnected in real time then handling your communication in uh, separate threads and many other things but what I'm thinking about my next episode, it's one really interesting implementation of this technology. So please stay with this channel, like, subscribe and see ya!